And we're back with the 1960 Schwinn Continental. And I got the rear rack installed with zip ties. And I think it's gonna hold. And I got my accessories. Everything's ready to go. Lights, camera, action. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Uh, home base today is uh, West High School, home of the Warriors. I think I've uh, mentioned before that I, I like to park inland, a little bit inland instead of at the beach. Ugh, at the beach, sorry, almost said the B I T C H. <laughs> um, when I need to go inland, I park a little inland and just uh, kind of work my way uh, towards my uh, locations. Um, ooh, I'm back on the 1960 Schwinn Continental. Uh, what else? Oh, okay. I'm going back to Hawthorne. Um, the last couple of weeks, um, I was at a particular stop that had two stories that I wanted to document. And uh, I had to uh, abandon that project for that day for personal reasons that I was uh, going through just miscellaneous things. I mean, everybody's got issues, but uh, I just needed to get, well, I just need to vent it out uh, today. It just happens to be today because, uh, well, since I'm riding it, I feel good when I'm on the bike. And plus I wanna just, not that I wanted to get out in the open, like, but I just, it's my only way to, uh, vent in a positive manner just so I can get it off my chest and be able to cope with life. But uh, on that particular day, a couple of weeks ago, um, I was at my stop in Hawthorne that had two grim stories that I wanted to talk about. And with the issues that I was having, I couldn't Man, I just couldn't uh, go on with it. I ha I don't know if I still have that footage from a couple of weeks ago. And if I do, I'll post it just to show you how frustrated, uh, how uh, angry, well, not angry, disappointed I was. And which I'm still going through, but uh, I'm trying to cope with it. But uh, you can actually hear the frustration, what I was going through in that particular footage. And uh, I just couldn't go on. I would, like I said, I was so frustrated. I just couldn't even get the words out. I had long pauses in between statements and, uh, well, I got the green light, just bear with me. There we go made it um just like i'm doing now I, I, that's just how i am i'm trying to uh get out the, the words properly and and i kind of i think a little too hard before i actually speak but in that particular day on that particular day i was so struggling there was just so much dead space there was a lot of um um uh, um and this and that a, a lot of that going on and it just wasn't working and I left, I stopped the camera and, uh, and that's another thing. I was having such a heck of a funk that I had such 
I gotta get the sign. I had such a bad ride back to home base. Like, I was so struggling. Oops. <laughs> um, I was having such a hard time pedaling back that I didn't even know if I was going to make it. That's how bad I felt. I just felt disgusted. I felt drained. Uh, when your mind is tired and drained, your body is tired and drained. And that's how I felt. And I was surprised that I even pedaled back. And I was so tired because I was so frustrated with my situation. Like I said, I'm still currently dealing with it, but I feel a little bit better because I'm riding and I'm, I'm letting this out. And uh, so with that said, uh, I'm sorry if I'm letting this out, but uh, heck, it's my channel. <laughs> I could do what I want. <laughs> just, just playing. But uh, so the agenda today is... I'm, I'm going back to Hawthorne and I'm going to go back to that location and talk about those, uh, uh, talk about those two stories, one location, two stories. So I'm, um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to tell it. And I'm going to be brave about it and I'm going to go on and, uh, tackle it and, and get the story out to you guys because I think you'll find it very interesting and informative. And there are two stories that I didn't even know about until my sponsor told me. And it's a heck of a story. And I, I'm going to tell it the way, uh, I'm going to try to tell it the way that it should, or at least my way and just get the point across short and sweet and just get it out there. A little simple. So with that said, um, I'm heading back to Hawthorne and that's coming up in a couple of blocks. Um, going back, uh, east. So, uh, that's where I'm going to go. And then on Hawthorne, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn left and probably just take it all the way down. That's Hawthorne Boulevard. I'm going to take it all the way down to Hawthorne. I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'll weave around. I mean, who knows how I feel. Uh, but that's it. So, uh, I'm going to get this sign right here. And stay tuned. Hey, welcome back, folks. I'm um, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a camera malfunction as well. So right here, see, I had a little bit of a malfunction with the uh, with the zip tie. Uh, I put three cheapies, hopefully that'll hold. Um, I was hitting a lot of bumps and apparently with the pressure and all that, the uh, one of the uh, zip ties snapped off. So luckily I got these uh, these little cheapies. So I put three there in its place. So hopefully that'll, uh, that'll at least uh, keep me going. But uh, I gotta stop doing these little Mickey Mouse things and actually get uh, some bolts and actually bolt it onto the uh, frame. So that way I don't have this uh, issue with the rear rack in the future. But uh, onward and upward, we're uh, I'm on the corner of 182nd and Prairie. And I'm gonna keep going north um, until I decide to weave around if I want to, we'll see. But uh, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back, folks. I'm still on on Prairie Avenue. Um, I just thought that uh, I filmed this. Hawthorne Historical Center. I think this will be a cool little place to check out one day. So if you're in the area, check this place out. Because I'm going to check it out one of these days. Too bad it's closed. It's... Uh, Today's Sunday, so uh, unfortunately, I missed the opportunity to check it out because I lived in uh, Hawthorne and always curious to know about its history. So I'm on uh, Prairie Avenue and 139th Street. I'm still going to keep going north. Stay tuned. And welcome back to the channel, folks. And right across the street, 
is the pizza show, which I've already done in a previous episode. But we're not here for the pizza show. We're here for this one. Right here. This, at one time, was a, a Western surplus back in the uh, 60s, 70s. Not exactly sure how long it lasted. It was Western surplus. And the crazy story about this place is that one of Charles, no, I'm sorry, not one, four, four or five of Charles Manson's uh, followers came to Hawthorne Boulevard at Western Surplus and they tried to rob this place back in 1971. So apparently there was a, the cops showed up and there was a, a a big shootout in the back. There's actually pictures of it in the newspaper. If you look up in the archives, there was a shootout of um, of Charles Manson's uh, followers. That's a crazy story. And there's actual pictures of it on the internet. You can look it up. Look up uh, Western Surplus and Charles Manson's followers. So apparently the gunshots, the gun shootings were happening behind Western Surplus. And I don't know if this is part of the original building back there, but uh, you can see uh, a white van and it has bullet holes. And apparently it was a pretty, pretty chaotic scene. Um, I think uh, all of the Charles Manson's uh, followers, they got uh, wounded. I'm not sure if anybody died. All I know is no police officers were uh, were hurt in action. Um, but uh, you can kind of feel some sort of tension around here. It's, I don't know. It's just a weird sensation. Just a weird. Wow. I don't even. This is this is what what I was going through the last time, where I just felt this weight and on top of what I'm going through and whatnot but uh, let me move on anyways so Western surplus came and went and then it became sometime in the 80s I I think I'm not sure when you can also look that up on the internet I'm not going to mention any names because uh, I don't want to get anybody in trouble and I don't want to get myself in trouble so this was also, this became Royal Cyclery, bicycle shop. So we always got to do something that's bicycle related. So this was once Royal Cyclery, and I don't know how long it lasted. All I know is that the owner of the place uh, was robbed at, uh, I'm not sure if it was at gunpoint or, I don't know uh, the exact details. Like I said, you can... Google that information. It's all on the internet. And the owner was nice enough to, to uh, I think there were the, these, uh, the, these robbers, they were going to, I think they wanted to buy a bike or something. Uh, I'm not sure. But instead of doing that, they, they robbed them and they killed them right here. Right here. So that's two crazy stories, one location. I'm a very spiritual person, and I just, I don't know, I'm just kind of weirded out, you know, and I like that kind of stuff. I've just, I've always been a, a fan of uh, uh, of uh, crime shows and crime mysteries and whatnot, and, uh, but, uh, but being right here is just, uh, it's an intense experience. Uh, I don't even know if this place is even active. I'm not sure if it is, but uh, if you look at the old pictures of uh, Royal Cyclery, um, it's pretty much the same layout. I think uh, this little ramp right here is fairly new, but other than that, the whole, the window, so you can line everything up, it's all, it all matches. It's just the uh, the back of the building is what I'm not too sure of. Because I think uh, 
later on, they added that part. See it, that divider? See how it divides right there? I don't think that was there back in the 70s, 60s and 70s. And that was like an open parking lot. And that's where that shootout was at when the Western uh, surplus was here. So there you have it, folks. Two grim stories, one crazy location. And uh, I think that's it. I'm looking forward to getting out of here. Feels weird. Um, so I'm going to cruise around. I'm going to head back to my uh, home base. And I'm going to get some shots of uh, some POV and stuff. And uh, so stay tuned with Western Surplus and Royal Cyclery. I don't know if you can see that as uh, Hawthorne Hardware. I've been there quite a few times. Good place too. There's A and W root beer one time where the O'Reilly's is. Beach Boys used to hang out there. And it was A&W Root Beer. Cool. And coming up to your left is the Bluebird. We've documented that one too. Home of the, the infamous lottery winners. That's a lucky spot, man, for many years. Hopefully I can be lucky. Going south on Hawthorne Boulevard. That's the cruising. Bye. Bye. How you doing? All right. You can only do the selfie stick when it's very, very less traffic. I'm on the sidewalk, so I'm able to uh, kind of get away with it. So I sure as heck can't do this when riding on traffic. No sorry.
over my right shoulder. Welcome back to the channel, folks. I guess this will do it for today. Um, if you like what I'm putting out, please like, comment, uh, and most of all, please subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the next episode of the South Bay Bike Rider.